Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. Eric is on assignment. I-76 has reopened after a fatal three-car pileup killed one man this afternoon. The victim was 31-year-old William Tankard. He's from Aiken, South Carolina. Now, the accident happened right on the bridge passing over Lake Milton. The story had a human element and even an animal element. 27 First News reporter Alex George has more now. He went to swerve around him, hit the trailer. The trailer flipped. When the trailer flipped on the side, it came loose and he rammed into a passing truck into the back end of it. Just before 3.45 this afternoon, the call came in about an accident on I-76 eastbound on the Lake Milton Bridge. Three vehicles were involved, a semi, a car, and a pickup hauling a horse trailer. Officers said the animals made the scene even more challenging. It's definitely not common out here. We were fortunate to have first responders respond uh, promptly and also some of the motors stopped to help us get those horses corralled. And uh, we had a local farmer that volunteered his services to come out and help us uh, extricate them. Ten horses were inside. The surviving seven are expected to recover. A local veterinarian is treating the injured horses. As you can imagine, on impact, the horses scrambled around. They have metal shoes on, and that can cause more cuts uh, to themselves and the other horses in the trailer, along with the debris. The vet says these horses are thoroughbreds and part of a polo team. One of them likely won't return to the field because of a tendon injury from tonight's crash. They'll be able to recoup. They're, they're pretty resilient and uh, remarkable animals. In fact, Paul just got off the phone with that vet, says the animal which had the tendon problem, it was put in a boot tonight. The other animals were all sewn up. They are going to be okay.